Hello everyone, welcome to the next video on the CSN at 20 mathematics solution. Today we will discuss about the ordinary differential equation. We will also discuss all these with the help of shortcut tricks. So let's see firstly how many questions are asked that. So this is the first question which is related to finding the degree of polynomial which is satisfied here. Second is one you have to find the you have to give the decision of the unique no solution infinite many more. Third one is you have to discuss basically on the homogeneous linear system form a basis linear independent and so on. Next one is you have to find the two point boundary value problems and you have to find the non trivial solution. While the last one is you have to find the values of this ordinary differential equation. How you can solve these all five questions within a few minutes in your examinations. So let's start with this one. So consider the differential equation is there if the polynomial is a solution what is the degree of the polynomial. So it's a very simple there is no need to solve this differential equation because uh, the, the examiner doesn't ask you about the solution. They are asking you about the degree of polynomial so we can look about the solutions. So assume that since polynomial is a solution so assume that it's a degree 1. So what are the general equation of this? There is ax plus b. That's the meaning of that. So it means if I just consider only for the basis are there that is x and 1. So if I consider as a 1 or as a x if I substitute here if I consider y as of x this also the linear. What is that? Second derivative will be 0. What is that? This is my 1 and this is my x. Is it satisfied? Yes. Because 2x x plus 1 2x so it means this is the right answer. That's over. You can check that. What will happen for the x degree of the 2 that is x square. If it is x square then what is the second derivative of that you can see I can write here what is the second derivative of this is 2 so it is my 2x square. What is that this is my y dash is my 2x. So if we write here as a 4x of x plus 1 and plus 2 of x square. Can you say that it's a 0? No because it's you can see it's a x cube x cube can never be cancelled so it means x square will not be 0. Similarly in the x cube if, if this is of degree 2 then it will be a definitely of the x square form. So it is also be cancelled out again it will be cancelled out. So the right answer is my a. You can see that within a fraction of second you can get the right answer. Again uh, second question is uh, you have to find the unique solution at the most and so on. Again there is no need to solve this one you can simply remember the result. What is our common result is if you have some differential equation of this form y raised to power say alpha and alpha lies between 0 and 1 or whatever the uh, independent variable is my positive and any of the one initial condition is given to you any of the one initial condition is given to you say y of a any of the one initial condition is given to you then this has always be a infinite many solution provided this is provided when this condition holds that is whenever alpha lies between 0 1 then it has always been infinite many solution you can see it has infinite many solution provided alpha is lies between 0 1 so if I consider this as a alpha if I prove that this lies between 0 1 then my answer will be here so what is that so since what is that k is my positive integer so it means k will be my greater than 1 so what is meaning have also we know that 5k upon 5k plus 1 it is always be less than of the 1 and since this is my k is my positive integer so this value is always be greater than 0 so what is the meaning of that it lies between 0 1 can it be 1 5k upon this is can never be 1 also it can never be 0 so it means it lies in the open interval of 0 1 so these conditions are satisfied what is the right answer of this problem is c infinite many solutions you can see again this is a sh shortcut tricks. Look at the another examples are there. Uh, there are the two solutions are given to you. Uh, homogeneous system is given to you and you have to find this one. So what are the questions are there? Y1 and Y2 form a basis. When it form a basis? When it has a linear independent. They are linear independent but do not form a basis. Okay. There exists another set 3 which form a basis and they are linearly independent. So the question arises in here is linear independent and linearly dependent and you can see there exists another set. How you can find that how many bases are there? How you can check that they are basically depending upon the rank of the matrix. So if I say there is a rank of the matrix is n then they have n number of the linear independent vector means they are bases of the n. So if it is given to you that y dash is my a of y I can find the rank of this 
if rank of this is my 3 then it consists of the 3 linearly independent vectors if rank is less than of the 3 why because the 3 cross 3 then it has linearly independent is either a 2 or 1 or 0 now we can also see whether the first and last option is they are dependent or they are ally so you can see whether they are L, they are ld or not can you form can can you say this is say some constant of the y2 no because here is a 3 here is a 5 it means they are not pure linearly dependent are they form a basis now there are the two bases it means if i check the rank is less than 3 then this is the right answer so what is the rank of these so i can check further firstly the determinant of this if i check that determinant is non zero minus 1 1 and minus 6 if i prove that determinant is non zero what is the meaning of that rank of a is my 3 then it has a 3 linearly independent so what is the rank of this matrix a so it's a minus 5 plus 24 plus 1 it's a minus of 2 minus of 6 minus 1 plus of 2 1 and minus 4 so it is a 5 it's a minus 125 and you can easily see that there is no need to compute it this sum will never be the plus 125 so it means it is a non-zero so if it is a non-zero it means the rank is 3 it has a 3 linear independent vectors so it means the first option is also cancel out because it form a basis the basis are consist of the n that is a three bases are there so what are those y1 and y2 are linear independent that's true but they do not form a basis that's true it means this is the right answer there exists another set y3 that's true such that y1 y2 and y3 form a basis that is also true because y1 and y2 are the linear independent that's true and they form a basis that's also true so the second that is a b and the C options are the correct. Simply you can use the rank of the matrix. Look at the another one is there. So this is a, uh, it's a two point boundary value problem. So all of you know that whenever there is a two there, this always be the same largest boundary value problem. And you can see here, what is the non-trivial solution? Always remember that there are the three cases, either this or here. All of you knows that whenever this is a zero, we will get a, always a trivial solution. Now here is a positive sign. So it means whenever they say lambda is less than zero, we will get a trivial solution. If it is a negative, then we will see a wrong. So if it is a positive, then what is said? It is a non-trivial solution when lambda is greater than zero. So what is that? No value of lambda, that's a wrong option. La this value is greater than zero, that's satisfied. So it means this is the right answer n is my positive so it means this is always be a positive this is the right answer lambda is a greater than equal to zero that's not true because its equality is also there whenever there is equality we will get the trivial solution so right answer is my b and c you can see there is no need to solve the problem look at the last questions are there so what is that this is nothing but my t of dy by dt minus of 3y is here so do you remember that what is that so this is a linear differential equation this is a linear ordinary differential equation so with the dependent variable y so here is this so i can this is i can convert them to the bernoulli equations i can divide it by root of y here so what is that this is 3 root y divided by t and here is this now how you can solve that if i just consider this as my x what will happen this is 1 by root y dy by dt is nothing but my dx by dt so if you substitute here what will happen if i this is nothing but my 2 dx by dt minus 3 upon t of x is t what is that you can see this is a linear differential equation in x so here so what is the integrating factor this is e raised to power p dx so p is my here minus 3 by 2 of t so what is that this is e raised to power minus of log of t that is t raised to power minus 3 by t so what is the solution of this that is a y that is x integrating factor and integration of the right hand side and here so you can easily see that it's a very simple what is that this is minus 1 by 2 and uh, it's a 1 minus it's a minus 1 by 2 so if when you integrate them it's a plus 1 by 2 upon plus 1 by 2 that will be the cancel out so what is that this is x is t raised to power half 
and it will be divided so it can be written like here so what is that this is my x is t square now what is the x is my this so i can say root y is my t square plus constant will be there so what is the value of this constant is when y of 1 is 1 c will be my 0 so you can substitute the value what is that y is my t4 what is that b is the right answer so these are the shortcut tricks you can apply them quickly in uh, in, in in your examination too there so that you can get the right answers in a very simple manner also you can see that this equation is nothing but my cauchy euler equation so you can also solve this cauchy euler equation that is nothing but my uh, y dash minus of 4y is 0 so again you can see this is nothing but my uh, t raised to power 4 is the right answer of this problem so you can see uh, in a shortcut way also so we will see some more lectures on this uh, csn net paper in the next class related to the partial differential equations till then you can simply subscribe the channel share these videos thank you very much